In Ogun, the aftermath of the demolished properties in Ajegunle Araromi community of Shagamu local government area of the state, the victims have accused the state government of exchanging their inheritance for relationship with foreigners. The victims noted that the demolition, which affected over 20 properties, was done with an excavator owned by the Chinese company and jointly supervised by government officials. Our correspondent, Jumoke Debari, completes the story. Victims of the properties demolished in Ajegule Araromi community in Shagamo local government area of Ogun State have accused the state government of forcefully removing them from their ancestral homes and illegally acquiring their land for a Chinese company. Officials of the State Bureau of Lands and Survey, accompanied by armed policemen, had two weeks ago stormed the community, pulling down houses and commercial buildings. Addressing journalists in Abiyokuta, a representative of the community, Olufebi Olatunde, alleged that the government demolished their houses after selling their land to a Chinese company for industrial purpose without paying them compensation. Despite documents given to us by these same government agencies and our massive support for Mr. Governor, Governor Dakwa since 2015, we were terribly pain that the only reward this government could give back in return to us to our support and loyalty in, is the destruction of our hard end investment and forcefully taking over our family and social land to give as a gift to foreigners. These are some of the evidences during this past gubernatorial election, how our community supported Governor Dakwa. We are constrained to conclude that this government is working at cross purpose, which is building of our future together. We want Governor Dapo to set up a committee to seriously look into this matter. Secondly, we want all parties that are involved to stay hold as we speak, not that they are doing things alone, but they are heavily guided by military men that are being paid by, with, with our tax. They are, nobody can even move near them. Thirdly, our properties that are demolished, we want a valuator, uh, somebody that can evaluate and want a refund of all monies that were spent on properties that were de demolished. Also, we want our lands back. We are not leaving our central land for anybody. We want our land back. Reacting to the allegations, the Director General of Bureau of Lands and Survey, Shagun Fowura, insisted that the government had not broken any law in demolishing the houses. Fowura described the victims as illegal occupants of government land, saying the government had given the residents repeated stop orders, which they ignored. We have not broken any laws. The, when they said the man, the gentleman, we, I'll show you geographic maps of what actually transpired. Now, people talk as if we're, we're only interested in, in foreign entity. A week before we did that one, I knocked down a, a, a complex that was with the steel structures. I can show you photographs. I can take you there. That was being built by the Chinese with the same impunity. They just go to villagers, they pay them on government acquired land, government land. Even, even if you get government aggression, what we do is that we're supposed to come and regularize it at a cheaper rate, if that is the case. And if that's the case, we'll, tell, we'll do that. That was not done. And the government acquired the land and allocated the land paid for by the particular Chinese company. This other Chinese company, I don't know them, I'm only here, that we knocked down their own two weeks ago. Nobody reported that. To tell the level of impunity, after we, the task force went there, and the demolition, they had been given repeated similar thing, repeated stop orders without not just no ownership of land, no get papers, no planning permission. For Wara, however, insisted that the compensation had been paid by the government to the landowners from Abiyokuta, Jumoke Adebari, reporting for Kaftan Television News.